Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be comparing two blushes. One is pretty new, one has been around a little bit, but both are very, very popular right now. So I wanted to see what both of them do, which one I like more, which one I think is more worth your money. So it's gonna be the Rare Beauty Bliss Blush and the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk Peach Pop. So again, both very popular right now and I'm just excited to see how they compare to each other. So that's what today is gonna be all about. Before we do get into it, please, please you guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so, so, so much if you do. But if you wanna see my comparison of these two, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, like I said, both of these are just like very, very popular. I don't know how many more times I can say that, but both like widely known blushes, both liquid blushes. So I really just wanted to compare them and see kind of how they're similar, how they're different, what I like, what I don't like, which one I think is more worth your money. So got lots of fun stuff planned today. I am going to read the descriptions of both of them so we can see like what they're both supposed to do for you and then we're gonna try one on one side of my face one on the other side of my face as usual so the first one that i have pulled up is charlotte tilbury again it's the matte beauty blush wand mine is in the shade peach pop so it's a matte nude peach and full disclosure the rare beauty one is like more on the pink side so they're not going to be like exactly the same shade which is fine i'm not like judging based off of the shade it is i'm judging based off of everything else so just wanted to point that out so this one goes for 42 dollars. it's definitely a little up there in price and it's 0.4 ounces so the highlights say liquid formula long wearing cruelty free matte finish without sulfates sls and sles it says a highly pigmented matte liquid blush for a fresh flushed look to revive your complexion. Inspired by Charlotte's best selling beauty light wands, dot and blend to apply. Twist to open the sponge applicator, dot onto cheeks, blend and don't forget to twist and close the applicator after use. Literally do not forget or it's very messy. The product is lightweight and blends beautifully with other makeup products. And then pro tip, apply over cream and liquid powder, uh, products before setting with powders, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, I have the rest of my makeup on, all my creams and liquids and everything. These are like the last step to perfect it. And then we have Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. It's the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. Love this stuff. And again, I have mine in the shade Bliss, which is a matte nude pink so charlotte tilbury is a little bit more like uh peachy this one is more on the pink side so this goes for 23 dollars. it's definitely more affordable than the charlotte tilbury one it's like i guess pretty much half the price of the charlotte tilbury one but this one has 0.25 ounces so it's like half of the product pretty much that's in the charlotte tilbury so two of these would equal pretty much one of these and then like the price of two of these would be one of these so i guess it equals out to be the same thing if you really think about it if my math is not wrong so the highlights for this one say radiant finish community favorite long wearing not long lasting long wearing sorry liquid formula matte finish medium coverage okay it says radiant finish and matte finish let's go with matte so it says a weightless, long lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully for a soft, healthy flush available in matte and dewy finishes. That explains it. I'm pretty sure this one is matte. I think I read that. And then it also says create a pinch perfect flush using this featherweight formula infused with long lasting pigments that last all day. Available in matte or dewy finishes, this liquid blush blends beautifully to create soft, buildable color with a natural second skin finish. So yeah, both of them are matte. Both of them are supposed to be like a long wearing. It says both of them are supposed to blend nicely with other products, all that fun stuff. So that is exactly what we're gonna see about both of them and see how they compare next to each other, see what they do on both sides of my face and see which one is more worth it. So 
we can just get started on applying both of them. I think I'm gonna do Rare Beauty on this side of my face, Charlotte Tilbury on the right side of my face, and then we're gonna see how they're similar, how they're different, and then we'll talk. So let's just get started and then we'll talk details. Okay, guys, I am back. I just applied both of them to my face. I'm just gonna give you a little close up of what they look like. So this is the Rare Beauty side. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. They look surprisingly similar. <laughs> That's the first thing that I wanted to point out because when you see them like this, like obviously they look like they're gonna be totally, totally different in color. But then when they're actually applied and blended out, they look really, really similar. So I'm a little bit confused right now, to be honest. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury side seems like it's a little bit more pigmented to me than the Rare Beauty side, which I guess I do believe because I've had a couple times where I put too much of this on, like I dot, like dotted like four or five dots on and it was like a lot. So I learned my lesson with that, but same goes with this. Like I always feel like two or three dots with this is more than enough and it looks really beautiful the way I did it right now, but this one's definitely a little bit more pigmented and you guys saw like just how much more color the Charlotte Tilbury one had. Like it was like neon looking compared to this one. Like the Rare Beauty side was a little bit more of like a muted kind of pinky color and this one was like neon like corally and then when you blend it out it like tones down a little. So they're both beautiful. Like. Neither one of them is doing anything crazy for my pores. Neither of them claims to do anything for my pores, but they're not like accentuating anything, so that's nice. They both blended very, very beautifully with other uh, makeup underneath. I felt like it was really, really easy to blend both of these into my skin, and you guys saw I used just like a regular like dense face brush to blend them both out, and I felt like it took like really no effort on either side to just blend it out and now it looks amazing like there's no harsh lines on either side of my face like where like the bronzer ends and the blush starts so that's really nice too like both of them look really really beautiful so i'm honestly very torn right now i don't know you guys like i'm like again very very surprised at how similar the colors are like it's like throwing me off a little bit because i'm trying to find more differences and i don't really see any other differences do you know what i mean like the colors this one does i guess look a tiny bit more peachy but it's like really not a noticeable difference i could probably get away with wearing my makeup like this out today and nobody would notice that it's two different blushes which is kind of crazy to me when you look at them like this so wow i feel like a little goes a long way with both of them so neither of them is like like you're getting more for your money. I feel like you only need like a couple dots of both and it covers what you need it to. They both blend really, really well with other makeup products. I don't know. I'm honestly very, very torn. Okay, here's what I'll say. Like this one is more expensive, but you get like pretty much twice the product that you do in this, but since a little goes a long way with both of them, I feel like both are gonna last you a very long time. So I almost feel like if you don't wear liquid blushes a lot, then you probably don't really need more than like one of these at a time, if that makes sense. So maybe let's like let that be the determiner because they're so freaking similar otherwise. Like I honestly would not be able to tell that these are two different blushes if I didn't physically put two different ones on my face. Like, I'm so confused right now. I was not expecting them to look that similar. So I'm gonna say 23 bucks is a really, really good deal for a really, really, really good blush that blends out really well and that looks really nice. And there's, okay, there's a lot more shades of this than there are of this. I think there's only like three of this matte one and then there's like the shimmery ones too but if you want a matte there's only three of these there's a ton more shades of these so you get more choices with the rare beauty it's less expensive but there is less product in it but you get 
pretty much the same result that you would with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna have to say, if you want something that's less expensive, if you don't care that there's like half of the product pretty much in here, then I say go with this. Honestly, like packaging wise, they're both so unique and so adorable. So there's like no preference there for me. I guess I like the applicator of this better because it's less messy. This doe foot applicator is like the perfect little like thing to dot this on. So I guess the packaging of this one is a little bit more practical than this one. This one can tend to be a little bit messier, especially if you forget to close the cap. So I'm gonna say if you don't wanna spend the money on the Charlotte Tilbury, you're gonna be beyond happy with this one. Like you get almost the same result for half the price, but be aware that you do get like half the product. But both are amazing and you cannot go wrong either way. I'm still gonna be using both like crazy and I'm gonna be switching between them because I love them both. <sighs> that was a hard one, you guys, but that is it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun. I am like shocked at the outcome because I really was not expecting them to be so similar. But that's all I've got. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I still had fun. Comment and let me know what you guys think. If I am like missing something, if you're seeing something I'm not, let me know because I'm curious too what your thoughts are. Say hello. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. But stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.